just recording this uh, for cops who like to come and tell me that people don't use this area for uh, for anything. This is an abandoned school, and uh, two to two, three times I've been approached by police officers um, telling me that I need to leave because there's cameras and all the gates are open. And I was just saying that uh, um, there are people who come and and walk their dogs and use this park on a regular basis, and I'm just recording it just in case they come by and act like uh, I'm violating the property because that's what they say they say things like that um, and uh, I was resting here and relaxing and these two white guys came over um, and stood right in front of me in front of that tr that tree right over there um, I was uh, sleeping and then uh, all of a sudden I started getting these messages over and over and over and over and over again about how I need to leave and uh, I need to go and do this and how I need to go and do that and so on and so forth and then they started inviting people who came to the park also to come and play with them and their dogs right in that area and this is a fairly big park you can see that people could be anywhere they could be all the way down there they could be on that side but the truth is is that they were standing right in front of me right there in front of the tree and uh, and then uh, now they're just kind of lingering and then uh, they said some words to a couple of people who went by that that kind of were kind of indicated that they might have been addressing me in some way they're like oh he's mad at us and so on and so forth um, the last time I slept here um, I was woke awoken early in the morning probably like five or six in the morning and uh, with with threats and attacks um, in my own head and uh, I got up and left and as I round the corner I see two cop cars literally sitting like right around the corner over there in the parking lot and the place is completely abandoned um, and it's like a park it was like a park and uh, so as you can hear the cop cars right now I'm sure they have something to do with this um, just saying in general uh, basically what I've done is I've gotten rid of the subconscious now, I'm the owner James Pender of everything I know it sound it to y'all it might sound strange but to me it's the real deal um, and that's what was being used to infiltrate and attack and to influence and use mind control um, and to enslave and so uh, that's what I got rid of and that's what uh, they're trying to use in order to influence me and do quite the other uh, annoying types of things. I know I haven't posted a video in a while because things have been fairly smooth and quiet um, as I transition uh, past the system and these people. Um, but that's basically what has been going on. And so that's the real deal. They can't scare me anymore. That's one of the things that they were doing is trying to scare you um, into submission. Um, and just some very, very bad people. Um, and uh, they're basically parasites. Um, everywhere I go, basically everywhere I go, um, cops show up. And uh, I'm hoping that they stop. Um, just this week alone, I think I've seen, like yesterday, for example, when I woke up, I saw about seven, eight cops just constantly circling around me in their cruisers. Um, oh look, now they're leaving. They've hidden here for about 10 minutes or so, 10, 15 minutes. Um, it was a big park. Um, you know, they were, they were definitely being annoying. Anyway, so, um, I've been visited by cops on a regular basis, um, just giving me small, like I was sitting, I was sleeping on the beach and the cops came and flung my sheet off of my head and uh you know said that we have an investigation and stuff like that and uh one of them tricked me into to, he was like do you have any weapons on me and i said i oh, sure or of course i got weapons on me why would i have and then he uh, they immediately handcuffed me sat me on a bench and then went through all my stuff and they're like well it's for our protection that uh, and i'm just sitting on the beach relaxing on the beach and then they gave me a, a ticket uh, for having a, a empty glass bottle on the beach and uh, then they went away and took and took the pillows that I was using and then 
they were asking, where did I get the pillows? And I found the pillows, like, literally sitting on the side of, uh, like, like, it looked like someone had abandoned some pillows on the ground. And the cop kept trying to say, uh, say that <clears throat> those pillows are uh, someone's property, aren't they? Those are someone else's property. Um, so why are you touching other people's property? And 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 we have an investigation. Then he started walking past the house because this is a, a beach where you know millionaires have houses on the beach. Um, and so he started walking past the houses to see if any of the pillows belonged to them. Um, and he stopped short, I guess, and then decided to come back. And and then they told me to not talk, not speak anymore, and and very rude stuff like that. And I told them, you can stop fucking talking. Don't tell me what to do. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, basically I've, I've come to the conclusion that um, whites never stopped slavery. They continued it in, in the mental sphere where they try to enslave from afar. And no more slavery. But that's what I've been going through. That's what a lot of this is really about. <clears throat> it's about whites trying to maintain their um, their status as slave masters um, for everybody who they deem, um, I guess, uh, uh, their property. And that's that's done now. No more slavery. Um, so even those guys over there were like, "We'll see what happens." And they said it in a nasty, smirky type of way. And I have tons of videos that um, that show what's been going on and all the people involved and all the things that um, I've been harassed under, uh, all, the, all the ways in which I've been harassed and attacked over and over and over again. It's been kind of pretty much a 24-7 cycle. Even um, them invading my dreams and acting like my, my, my old family that I used to have that was killed, by the way. Um, they like doing that and uh, being rude and disrespectful. It's just a, a very regular thing. Um, and try to drive you crazy is what generally, if they can't get you, <clears throat> then their plan is to drive you crazy and to, and to make you um, do something very hostile. <clears throat> One of the things that happens when they enter your mind is they, they, they bother you in a, in a way um, that that triggers you. So say, um, they'll say something rude and disrespectful. And, uh, if you respond, they'll scream. Like if you have Tourette's, um, and they'll do that over and over and over again so that your immediate reaction And it. <clears throat> another thing that they do is they help, they make you visualize having your head slammed into the side of something sharp, like a desk or the wall or anything that you could be looking at at, the, at that particular time. They, they do that type of visualization on a regular basis and then scream and, and try to trigger you. And uh, I can see why some people, um, you know, get triggered very easily. Like if you see those videos online about like public disturbances and people going crazy and screaming and fighting and yelling at each other, they're most likely triggered. And, uh, you know, people who go in and shoot up schools and they, they're under mind control and they've been triggered and uh, and somebody is involved with that uh, on a regular basis um, and I, I guarantee it's the police the people who say that they are supposed to protect and serve actually the ones who are causing a lot of the problems and issues that uh, happen all around uh, this place uh, they are directly responsible. That's been my personal experience that a lot of this mind control, a lot of this attacking, and a lot of this harassment, a lot of this evil happens to be directly related to police officers, and especially white police officers that are helping to try and maintain the slave system in which they have implemented everywhere um, for the benefit of whites, obviously. And uh, if you have any common sense, you can take a look at politics, entertainment, um, education, corporations, business, um, finance, it, media, anything you can think of, technology, it's all dominated by whites. It's not because they're smarter, it's because they have implemented mind control techniques to take control and enslave all those who they deem undesirable.
and this is a good example. Um, and I just wanted to make this video because I've been literally followed to every location that I go to and literally attacked. And, and not just attack from afar, but actual police officers actually following me. And, and one of the police officers told me when I was at the beach, he was like, it, he, I said, how did you guys find me? And I was like, I, I mean, I, I said, Why, how did you guys find me? They didn't tell me that they had a disturbance or anything. They said that we pinged your phone. I was like, why would you ping my phone? Well, you're on the radar. And that's basically the idea that if you're an under, if you're someone who is fighting against them and doesn't want to do what they say, they will, they will literally gang, try to gang rape you. And no matter where you go, they will try and do the same thing and will issue instructions to anyone um, and everyone who might be in the area or who is a part of their, their system, like agents from the matrix, if you've ever heard of that, and they will come after you. No doubt and no lie, it will physically come after you if they can. And so I figure, what's one of the ways in which they can, they've been bothering me? And it's through the subconscious. And so I got rid of that. And so my gosh, I have to tell you, the amount of peace that I have experienced because of it, and a lack of fear and harassment has, has been almost cut off seriously it's almost been cut off and thank goodness and uh you know i'm just very happy and and one of the things that they actually would, would were doing for example if i smoke a joint um they were stopping me from breathing like they would try and take my breath away so i would smoke a joint and then all of a sudden i'd have breathing problems and that's if i was around anybody and that's been the latest thing that they were doing um, and every now and then they come up with something in, in which they can try and kill you with murder. Um, and or trying to, uh, a strong, de strong deterrent. Because the idea is to try and get you to do what they say from afar. And that way, um, then they can influence you in any possible way. If, if you're willing, if you're stupid enough to listen to a voice in your head that, that constantly keeps trying to tell you what to do, and, 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 it's a, and it's a strategy. It's not like random voices. It actually has a, an agenda and a purpose that it's con and it's consistent. It's not like something that um, that doesn't happen. It's not like something that's random. It's a consistent message that gets played like over and over and over again, like a recording. And uh, and the, one of the ways that I think that it can be stopped. One of the ways that it has been stopped is by taking away the subconscious so it can't access your mind and your body anymore. And, and so I shall experience freedom from this, from this terrorists, for these, from these terrorists. Okay. Very good.